cardiac arrest. So now we're going to talk about what happens in the event of an actual arrest. Please stop. Here, what you'll see is that the heart is no longer beating. This used to show an electrocardiogram pattern, but now it's gone flat. The heart has stopped beating. The patient is not breathing. This is a cardiac arrest. Again, you have to respond instantly. And I cannot emphasize enough the first response to an emergency. Please continue. So he first did, you know, stop. Is the monitor correct? Or did, the, or did the leads just all fall off? So he just, please continue. Just wants to check that the patient has in fact had an arrest. Stop. Calls for help. Those of you who have taken CPR course may remember the instructions for CPR. You find a person who is unresponsive. What's the first thing you do? Call for help. When you take advanced cardiac life support, what's the first thing that people are taught to do? Call for help. When you are an anesthesiologist, in your very first days of training, probably your very first day of training, if there is a problem, what do you do? You call for help. One person begins CPR, the chest compression shown here. One, Dr. Hung is now ventilating the lungs, shown here. And emergency drugs are drawn up for resuscitation. This right here is lidocaine, which might be given for resuscitation. Other drugs that might be given for resuscitation include drugs like adrenaline. So please stop. So in an arrest, in an emergency, you assess the patient just to be sure that the monitor has not failed. That takes maybe three seconds. Then the first thing you say, the first thing you do is you call for help, always. Then you, if the person's uh, heart is not beating, you start chest compressions, you ventilate the lungs with oxygen. This will keep the patient alive. This will keep the patient alive long enough, hopefully, to fix the problem, to fix the reason for the arrest. This may involve giving drugs to raise the blood pressure. This may involve giving blood if the person has, for example, a gunshot wound or something like this. It may involve using electrical energy to start the heart again. But you use these steps to keep the patient alive, but they're only used to keep the patient alive while you institute what actually reverses the arrest and restores the patient to breathing on their own and having the heart beating on its own. Please continue. So you continue the CPR and the advanced cardiac life support until one of two things happens. Either the patient uh, revives or the patient is pronounced dead.